Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have very interesting news for you. And this news is all about graphics cards and not from Nvidia or AMD but Intel. Yes, we are already been hearing about Intel's new XC HPG graphics cards from a long time, but this time the leaks are coming more and more frequently. And this time the source is Moore's Law is dead, who probably you may know as he's a big leaker on YouTube. According to his source, this time we have some sneak peek on upcoming Intel's entry level graphics cards. Yes, we already know that Intel has been preparing different tiers of graphics cards ranging from low profile to high end, but this particular GPU which we are talking about is the 120 EU. It is going to feature 128 execution units and there are a few specs which Tom talks about. This graphics card belongs to the XC HPG graphics card family and it is going to feature from 2.2 up to 2.5 GHz of clock speed. It is also going to come up with 6 GB of GDDR6 VRAM which we previously heard about that it is going to be 4 GB but Tom confirms that it is going to feature 2 GB of more VRAM. Also it will feature 96 bit of memory interface instead of 64 bit. He also talks about how many additions you can expect in the future. According to him you can expect two additions of this GPU, one for the desktop and one for the laptop where the 96-bit GPU will be for the desktop and the 64-bit GPU will be for the laptop. Laptop GPU will run at 14 gigabits per second, but the desktop GPU will run at 16 Gbps of memory speed. What Tom says about the TDP is that these graphics cards will feature 75 watts of TDP and it might be that Intel will also allow our clocking, although it won't be as good as on the high-end GPUs as these GPUs will feature low power consumption. Talking about the price, he says that it will not cost more than $200 and it will cost somewhere around $180 and that is great because entry level graphics cards are nowadays only available for more than $250 and the $100 to $200 price range has been discarded by AMD and Nvidia for a long time. So now we can see an actual competition can go on in the budget GPU category if Intel plans to release its budget GPUs in this price range. Tom also says that this time we can also see a 3GB version of the desktop GPU. However, he says that he's not very confident about it. Now let's head to another piece of great news. This is also from Intel and is about the Intel's 14th gen Meteor Lake processors. Yes, there is still time for Intel to release the 13th gen Raptor Lake processors, but Intel has officially confirmed the Meteor Lake processors design. And this time, we are going to see a completely different design than what we have right now. These processors will use three different chips or dies, and these will be Compute Die, SOC LI Die, and GPU Die. Each die will have its own functions, and this time all these three dies will be based on different process technology. Compute Die will use Intel 4, while the SOC will use TCMC N5, and the GPU Die will use 3 nanometer process technology instead of 5 nanometer. Moreover, the GPU on the Meteor Lake processors will have up to 192 execution units, which are way more than what we have on the Elder Lake processors. This news comes from Commercial Times, which also gave insight on XE-based GPUs, which will also use the chips from TSMC and that will also include the HE HPG graphics cards that we talked about earlier. These graphics cards will use 6 nanometer process technology and are expected to be in mass production by the end of this year. It is said that these graphics cards are supposed to be available in the first half of 2022. So what do you think about the new XC HPG entry level graphics card and the new Meteor Lake processors design? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't because more new and new content is on the way and I will see you in the next one.